assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make a hijab with fun waffle and if you're just viewing my channel for the first time welcome to the channel and don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so let's get started so for this tutorial i'm going to be using one yard of fabric and the first thing i did is just to fold my fabric into two after which i'll come to the folded edge and i'll take my jab my back jab length which is 30 inches so i'm just going to chuck that out through so after marking my 30 inches with my ruler i'm just going to connect the points and then i'm going to cut it So the next thing I'm going to do is to come to that open edge and I'm going to take my head circumference measurement which is 10 inches since the fabric is in fold. My head circumference is 20 inches normal so I divide by 2 so that's 10 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to slant my tape to 20 inches points. So from the 10 inches point I'll just slant my tape in 20 inches. After slanting, that's what I'm going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to take the edge of the back piece and then place it at the edge of that front piece part. Then at the midpoint, I'll just go up by 11 inches. Then with my curve ruler, I'm just going to make a slight curve from the 11 inches point to the edge of the front and the back. After which I'm going to cut it out. And then I will notch the midpoints. So when I open it up, this is what I have. So the next thing now is to cut our uh, ruffle. So from the fabric, from the excess fabric, I'm just going to fold it into two. After which I'll fold into four. And then I'm going to fold into eight. Then I'll fold it again into eight. So after folding, I'll just come to the folded edge there and I'm going to take 3 inches. So I'm just going to mark that around. And then I'll just come down from that 3 inches point by 4 inches. And I'm going to mark that around also. After which I will cut it out. So when you open it up, you have something like this and I have four pieces of it. So I'm just going to join the four pieces together. Form a long ruffle. So from the remaining fabric, I'm going to fold it into two. Then I'm going to check if I have four inches for my jab cap width, which I have already. Then I'm going to fold into four. So after folding into four, I'll take my head circumference divided by two, which is ten inches, since the fabric is in fold. And then at the other side, I'll take my jab cap width. Which is four inches. 
So I'm just going to make a curve to join the two points. After which I will cut it out. And then I will notch the midpoint. So to join the ruffle now, I will take the first two pieces right side facing each other. And I'm going to pin it. After which I will take the third piece, right side facing each other. I'm going to pin it and I'm going to do the same to the fourth piece also. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine to join it all together. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my jab cap and fix it to my jab, right side facing each other. And I'm going to start pinning from the notched parts. So after painting it all, this is what we're going to have. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch on it. So I joined my ruffle together already. And I have my long ruffle piece. And I joined my jab cap also to my jab. So this is my ruffle and I folded it into two. And this is my jab piece. So I just opened it up so that the right side is facing me. So I'll just place the ruffle there. After which I will place the second piece of the jab on it. And then I'm going to start pinning my ruffle to my jab piece. I'm just going to start pinning it all together. So after pinning it all together, I'll just take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch on it. So after stitching on it, this is what we are going to have. I'll just turn it to the right side. And on the right side, this is what it looks like. So this is the final look of a hijab with ruffle. The next thing we are going to do is just to hem the down parts. And you just take it to your interlocking machine and then interlock it. So that's all for hijab with ruffle. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.